Hey guys, it's mid-March. Minnesota's turkey season is about a month away. It's already started down south. I've seen some people that are sh shooting turkeys down in Florida, and that means it's right around the corner for us in the Midwest. But what I'm going to be doing today is shooting my uh, new turkey gun that I'm going to be using this, this spring. It's a Stevens 301 410. Um, yeah, it's a 410 turkey gun. Now, a few years back, that would be kind of unheard of. Not, a, not many guys were doing it that I was aware of, but the last couple years has become all the all the rage with the new TSS loads that are on the market today. So today, I'm gonna to be testing out four different turkey loads that I was able to get my hands on with the ammunition shortage going on, but I've got the Federal TSS, um, I've got Apex uh, TSS, I've also got Apex Ninja, um, and also Foxtrot, and they're all nine or nine and a half shot TSS, so tungsten super shot loads, it's spendy. This video is gonna cost me a chunk of change to throw down the, the uh, range here, but I'm gonna shoot each of those loads at 20, and 40 yards and see how they pattern out of the stock choke, the one that comes with the gun. Um, I picked up this gun um, a few weeks back, I suppose it was about a month ago, about $180. It's a single shot break action and uh, just a cool little gun, very lightweight, very little recoil. My idea is once my uh, kids are old enough, they can take along and, and shoot this thing without being scared of pulling the trigger. So gonna test it out, see how these loads pattern, hopefully save you a little bit of money uh, so you don't have to shoot six, seven bucks a shot uh, you know, figuring out which pattern works the best or which load shoots the best pattern rather. But we're gonna, again, shoot the 410 Stevens 301 with the stock choke. Got a uh, Vortex uh, Venom red dot on the top and that's gonna help me get my, uh, my sight on. I uh, have a little difficulty uh, getting my head down on the barrel when I'm self filming. So this should help me out. Very cool optic, very cool to install, very easy to install I should say. All right, enough talking. Let's pull the trigger and see what happens. All right, first up, we're going with the uh, Federal TSS load, uh, 410 nine shot. So first up, 20 yards, Federal. All right, next in line, we've got Turkey Tungsten Super Shot. Apex is original load, I assume. So Apex uh, 410, uh, nine and a half shot, I believe. So Apex, 20 yards. Woo. All right, coming up next is Apex Turkey Ninja. Nine and a half shot, three inch Apex Turkey Ninja, 20 yards. You. All right, last up, we've got Fox Trot Ammunition 410 load. Uh, he labels it 383. It's nine and a half shot at 20 yards. <laughs> Yikes. All right, now we're doing 40 yards with the Federal TSS. All right, now we've got Apex at 40 yards. All right, now it's time for Apex Turkey Ninja, 40 yards. Fox trot ammo, 40 yards. All 
All right, guys, I'm back at the house now, and what I'm going to do is give you a side-by-side -side comparison of all four types of ammunition that I shot at both uh, 20 yards. I've got that set up behind me, and then I'm going to take that down to the same thing at 40 yards so you can see the side-by-side -side of those patterns as they hit the target, and we'll uh, get to the uh, bottom of it. All right, guys, we're going to go shot-by-shot um, -shot in the order that I took them at 20 yards um, with different brands of ammunition here. So. The first one I shot was Federal TSS, and this was, as you can see, by far the, you know, least attractive pattern when it came to, you know, kill pellets. Now, this is a dead turkey. There's, you know, a dozen BBs right there in the kill zone, right up the neck and into the head. Um, I mean, just a little bit more spread out than I expected. Now, this was, again, with the stock choke that came with the gun that supposedly, um, you know, is designed for this shot. So I don't know if it was a, a fluke or what, but again, as you kind of look ahead, you can notice a, a substantial uh, difference in pattern here. So again, kind of spread out a dead turkey for sure, 20 yards, um, but you go to the next one with the Apex ammunition, their regular Apex ammunition, um, a 9.5 shot, and you can really see a difference already when you're looking at a little bit different type of load here, or maybe a little more expensive, I guess but just a really nice pattern. And that's, that turkey smoked. Um, that's, that's exciting to see with a 410 shotgun that I, you know, I was pretty excited to try out and see what the results would be. And seeing that, that's, that's incredible. Um, so definitely, that, that's, I'm very confident 20 yards with that pattern as well. Um, the third one I shot was the Apex, the Turkey Ninja. Very similar, same company as up here, but down here, I think it's like a, a slightly heavier load. Um, so a little bit more shot, um, still 9.5 shot TSS. And again, just lights out like complete shading over the head. And I mean, a ton, ton of different marks that are touching. And <laughs> that turkey is again, just obliterated. That thing isn't going anywhere. And that is just so fun to see when you're patterning a shotgun, when you can get that much, um, that much action, that much, you know, that tight of a pattern in where you're aiming. So again, incredible very happy with how that one went at 20 yards and the last one i shot was foxtrot ammunition uh 383 stroker in 9.5 again foxtrot is the brand uh he makes a 383 stroker which is a 410 load and this is 9.5 shot i know he has a couple different available options there but again these three are all 9.5 shot and again i might have hit just a little bit lower than here but you can see how incredibly dense um, where the center of that shot went and how effective that would be at taking down a turkey. Again, 20 yards, you can see the difference here. All dead turkeys, um, but so far, these two are really starting to stand out, and this is also uh, a very acceptable pattern at 20 yards. All right, so we've looked at these at the 20-yard at the range. Um, again, pretty, pretty awesome stuff out of the 410, but let's uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison of the results that we got at 40 yards to see what these loads can really do. It's in the order that I shot them, starting with the Federal TSS. And what I found was that the pattern looked pretty good if you look. Um, you know, some of these shots aren't perfect, but that happens in the woods as well. But you can see the majority of the shots a little bit low on this one. So if you look down here, not so much at the head, it's an okay pattern. But I, I don't think I'd feel too confident, you know, shooting that out to 40 yards in the turkey woods. So a pretty, I mean, a decent little uh, spread of shot here. Um, again, not so much up here because again, operator error, uh, aimed a little bit low, decent, but nothing too dense. Okay. And most people might be okay with that. Um, but when you look at the other three options here, and again, you can see how substantially different they are. It kind of makes this one obsolete. And, um, you know, I've shot this load out of a 12 gauge the last few years. So I'm a big fan of this load, but just not for the 410 for me. So, uh, the next one was the AP apex TSS. And again, this is immediately a big step in the right direction. A very dense pattern throughout that's a dead turkey at 40 yards i'd be much more confident there again you could argue, argue that i shot a little bit low um uh, that'd be something i'd have to dial in once i you know you'd choose a load but again the apex um did really well throughout at 40 yards again still a lot of shot throughout the head and neck and again the densest part of the pattern is right about there um that's a quick adjustment with the red dot and and you're off and running so Focusing on that, it's, it's, that's a really good, really good pattern, okay? Um, hopping down to here, again, I apparently was way, uh, 
less accurate than I thought it would be. On the right side, you'll see a lot more um, density into the pattern. Again, looks very good throughout. This is a dead turkey as well. There's probably, again, a dozen throughout the head and neck. Um, even with my errant shot. So looking over here and looking at that density again, phenomenal. So you compare this and you know in this to what we're seeing in here and you can just see a huge step in the right direction. Um, so again, Apex Turkey Ninja um, did really well and I'd be confident with that at 40 as well. Now the Foxtrot um, again did really well. So there are a lot of BBs in here, a lot of shot in through here, a lot of touching BBs and, and, and a good, you know, dense pattern, um, well over a dozen in the kill area, and a bunch just around it. So I mean, if that turkey moves one way or the other, it's still dead. So uh, three of the four here look really good at 40 yards. I'd be confident in any of them. And what I end up going with is choosing the, uh, the Foxtrot to go with this year and see how it fares. I just really like how that pattern at 20 and 40 yards, uh, specifically in the 40, that's, that's incredible stuff. So um, once you do this, if you do this on your own, out of your gun, out of whatever choke you're shooting, again, this was the 410 uh, Stevens 301 with the stock choke, the one that comes with it, and just shooting these at 20 and 40 yards. Um, so what you do is when you finally choose which, which shot you want to go with, that's when you make the tweaks to your sights, okay? Each load, especially when you're shooting a, a, a dense flying pattern like TSS, you, you find that load and now you sight in your gun. So, for example, if I was using this one, um, you know, I might want to take a couple more shots and make sure that's hitting center as opposed to just to the right. In here, maybe up a little bit. Pretty good on this one. Uh, but again, I'll be taking some more shots with this ammunition and dialing it in so I'm ready for the turkey woods. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you're uh, hopping on the 410 bandwagon, hopefully this saved you a little bit of money with these expensive loads sending down range and, and you can kind of get an idea of where you might want to start. But um, we're about to hit the turkey woods here shortly here in Minnesota. And in South Dakota, um, Wisconsin, and I think maybe Iowa. So there's going to be a lot of uh, turkey footage coming your way. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll have a lot of content rolling out this spring. And kids getting on turkeys and, you know, some of us, you know, adult kids getting on some turkeys as well. So, again, be sure to like and subscribe. And, and, and thanks for watching.